Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is Tyranny Watch News for July 13, 2014, Anno Domini, in the year of our Lord. And today, the governor of Nebraska has been angered by dumping of 200 illegal children in his state, and there's total secrecy about it. He knows about it, but the federal government will not provide him with any information about the kids. And he's not happy. Governor Heinemann is his name. Well, isn't this typical? These people have been acting in secrecy. I mean, they have a secret agreements, apparently. They had to have had secret agreements to get all this going. So, here we have another act of tyranny on part of the federal government. And of course, Wall Street Journal is portraying this as being an immigration crisis when anybody with any common sense will look at it and knows there's something horribly wrong with this picture. This is not an immigration product. An immigration crisis. Something else is amiss, and there's no question about it. But it's tough to get the truth out of our uh, marvelous politicians. A Border Patrol agent named Hector Garza has said that up to 70% of border agents have been pulled away from the border and what they're doing is basically paperwork on the illegals that are flooding into this country. So, they're not on the border protecting us. They're sitting behind a desk so that the illegals can stream across the border unmolested. I don't mean molested in a sexual sense, obviously. So there you have it. They're pulling the border agents off the uh, border. The agents that are on the border aren't on it because they're 40 miles away from it. That's further than San Diego is from the border, I'm pretty sure. So, the border is wide open. Meanwhile, in Baltimore, a resident known as Elaine has asked on the Laura Ingram show, where can I get a scion? <laughs> That's a good question, Elaine. Uh, they don't give a flying you-know-what about you. You're trapped, I realize. I understand you can't do much or anything with the gangs outside. But, they're bringing more in, so take heart. We're going to have, all of us are going to have to put up with uh, gangs all, everywhere now. Thanks to Obama. Sorry about that, Elaine. I wish I had uh, better news for you. Also, in an opinion piece from the Weekly Standard, they talk about the rapid increase under Obama of undocumented aliens 
illegal aliens coming from these Central American countries and how that's gone way up. There's many fewer in 2012, but now Obama has a second term, it's skyrocketing. Well, duh. Well, we're in trouble, folks. We're in so much trouble. And one of the highest ranking people ever to talk about the NSA's activities, William Binney, has said that the NSA's main purpose is total population control of the United States population. At least 80% of the cables that are laid are laid here in the United States. Uh, thank you, Mr. Benny. Can't say I disagree with you on anything like that, especially since uh, you're one of the smarter people. You're a code breaker for us during the Cold War years and so forth. Mr. Benny says that the NSA is mass collecting data on Americans and there hasn't been any terrorist attacks since 9 11, so this is not about preventing terrorism. I agree, of course. So there you have it. Well, our borders are wide open. And we're not being protected from the influx of illegals. Same time, the NSA is watching you so closely that you can't even breathe without their knowing about it. Meanwhile, according to CNS News, it was Catholic News Service, President Obama. In a speech last Thursday, talked about unilateral action that he wants to take to bypass Congress, in other words, violating the Constitution. And he referred to himself 199 times in a speech. Well, President Obama, why didn't he go for the Max, I mean, 199 times is going to be gone for 200. Why just one short? I mean, if it's all about you, then go for the maximum. I, me, my... Oh boy. What a narcissist. Former Al... Former Vice President Al Bohr... It said that climate change is the greatest crisis ever to face mankind. The greatest challenge to face mankind. He did this in an interview with BBC News. There's a screenshot of it. Mr. Gore sat down with BBC's Don, John Donison in Australia where his organization, the Climate Reality Project, was holding training sessions to educate future leaders in the fight against climate change, which is really just the fight against capitalism and freedom. Of course, they don't tell you that. We're way past time where it's responsible for any national leader to Reject the science behind the climate crisis. Okay, so let's look at another story concerning this. In the meantime, the Antarctic winter in June was the coldest ever. That's right. June in the Antarctic was the coldest ever recorded. But you don't hear that out of Al Bohr now, do you? So, <laughs> it's cold down there. And of course, 
yesterday I did a story about Land of Oz and how that's been frozen up. You know, figures don't lie, but liars figure. In Guthrie, Oklahoma, three more earthquakes rattled the state in or near Guthrie, o Oklahoma, which the state has been the center of a swarm of earthquakes lately, and geologists don't really know why. Uh, they've been blaming wastewater extraction or injection or whatever. I can't help but wonder if maybe something else is up with that, but we'll have to wait and see. It's like saying, like I said, getting the truth out of these people is harder than squeezing water out of a rat. In Singapore, they're uh, banning a, what the press calls a gay-themed book. In actuality, it's a children's book that just describes a real-life incident where two male penguins in a zoo raised a chick. Well... I can't help if these penguins were screwed up, but they raised chicks, so who cares? They're just birds. Humans know better than this. Birds don't. On to the next story. That's a good entry for the Dillagaff section. So, the U.S. government has mishandled a uh, dangerous disease causing germ samples five times. After revelations of anthrax uh, being almost accidentally released and the discovery of smallpox samples, smallpox being one of the most dangerous diseases on Earth, I guess this story is coming out to say, yeah, we're on the case. The only problem is how many other samples of disease germs are out there just waiting to be accidentally released. You have to ask yourself that question. Finally, as reported on discoverynews.com, Superhuman strength may be coming to us mere mortals. How does this work? I'm talking about some uh, newfangled materials that they might wind up making contact lenses of, and you'll have a super high resolution display built into your contact lenses and other things. Well, th thank you, folks. I think I'll stick to my own two eyes. This is Artifacts of Mars with a Sunday edition of Tyranny Watch News. Have yourself a nice day. And remember that you are living in a soft tyranny. And it's time to do something about it and throw all these bums out. I'm Artifacts of Mars.